<coughs> so here's the deal. It looks like this beef between Masika Kalisha and the world continues to go on and on and on and on. It just will never stop Jesus. It's like the beef that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and anyways, Jesus, y'all get it. So she's still beefing with Zell Swag. Now, shout out to the awesome people at VH1 Love and Hip Hop T for reposting these tweets and messages and what's not. You know, I mean, they're going in. Y'all know that your girl Masika Kalisha is the clapback queen. Y'all know she's as funny as she is fine. And, you know, I I'm going to try to read this as best as I can because she was wild and out on Twitter. But y'all know I'm going to fuck up and I'm going to be stuttering and talking stupid. But speaking of stuttering, Masika said the following. And I'm not saying that Zell is stupid. I'm stupid, though. I'll be stuttering like a motherfucker. But anyways, by the way, she's talking about Alexis and Zell swag, by the way. First of all, she said, <clears throat> how are you so obsessed with someone that doesn't give a single solitary fuck about you? Hashtag stalker. Hashtag single white female. Hashtag I don't know her. Referring to Alexis Sky. She also went on to say, get it out, bitch. Say what they making you say, script monkey. Hashtag season one, bitch. So Joy, aka Chocolate Goddess, said, "Should have been, should have been beat Alexis' ass." See, look at me. See, how I just stuttered, my dumb ass. Should have been beat. Rather, you should have been beat Alexis' ass on or offset. That would have deaded that. Masika said, "She's super fast when the cameras aren't around. It's amazing. All that quote on site talk disappears. That whore can run like the wind." Well, thank God. I don't want these pretty girls fighting. Anyways, Masika went on to say. You're used to dragging bitches, but you ran for me at the bowling alley crying for security when the cameras weren't there. Okay? So, Rivi, Rivera Riviera Roses said, Production did everything they could to squeeze Alexis into the show. They paying cast members to bring her up. Laughing crying emoji, Amasika Kalisha. Masika said, Poor pathetic boy couldn't even read his cue card without stuttering all these hoes want is fame period i look like an easy meal ticket for a bum to get a quick come up bitches don't want to see me in real life here's what zell swag had to say the alleged stutterer i'm not ashamed to say i stayed in a hotel slash struggled it's called life i'm honest about who i am these birds don't even know they age i've been to five 30th birthday parties can't even pay their bills. Getting kicked out of apartment slash home. Staying with someone who had eight other people staying with her. Now you building your dream home? Laughing out loud. That's going to take longer than Sheree Chateau. It's actually Chateau Sheree. Not being petty. Laughing out loud, girl. Your baby daddy just put up with you just because you stuck him. Get a life, bitch. He also went on to say, I fuck with real bitches. These broke bums, not my real friends. My girls laugh at these bum ass, same shoe wearing assholes. Hashtag get some new shoes. I'm real about who I am. Never been fake. Everything about you is fake from H to T. I might be a season one bitch, but your season done bitch. Hashtag it over. Fat ass still haven't got no camera time yet. Hashtag love and hip hop. Hashtag love hip hop Hollywood. I might be a season one bitch. But bitches out here bums, one pieces and ashy ankles. Lubricate those ankles, girl. Laughing crying emojis. So yeah, there you go. They're going at it. I, I don't know if their beef is ever going to end. You know, man, Masika Kalisha is too damn beautiful to be beefing with anybody. But that's a whole nother story. But anyways, man, what do you guys think about this waste of pretty? You know, pretty girls should never have to get ugly. They should just stay pretty. But yeah, you know, uh, Sika sometimes has to bite a head off. Y'all know I love her when she claps back. She is the clap back queen. She's fucking hilarious. You know. But anyways, this is all my opinion. Just a Masika Kalisha fan with the microphone as far as the man's L swag goes. I don't really know much about him. I do know that he is going to potentially be a fan favorite. And I told y'all that. I made a video before the first episode aired. I was like, man, this Zell swag dude. 
I can see a lot of people really liking him, a lot of people really fucking with him. And, you know, that's just my assessment based off of what I was seeing. I'm like, yeah, I could see him being one of the fan favorites. You know, I've been watching this show since the first season of Love and Hip Hop before it was Love and Hip Hop New York. It was just Love and Hip Hop at first. You know, so I've been around for a minute. And, you know, for what I've seen, yeah, Zell Swag, he's going to be the one to watch out for. As far as newbies are concerned, he's the one that I, I, I just knew that people were going to like his personality. But anyway, this is all my opinion. What do I know? I'm just a Masika Kalisha fan with the microphone. Quickly becoming a Zell Swag fan. I wish that they would stop arguing and start working together. Again, I mean, they do great work together. You know, he kept her stylish. She's very beautiful. You know, they make an awesome team. But this is all my opinion. What do I know? I'm just a Masika quickly becoming a Zell fan with the microphone. I think I said that about 50, 11 times. Let me know what y'all think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+, Meat Magazine blog and Instagram. Be sure to hit that notification button. It's right next to the subscribe button. It looks like a bell. Once you click that button, you'll be sent alerts to be notified when new videos get posted. Jesus.